bits, tasty air bits, mini, mini. Tasty Ear Bits Podcast, except not as long. It's a shorter mini version just for you. Tasty Ear Bits Mini. Tasty Ear Bits Mini Mini Mini. Well, hello there, naughty boys and girls. It is I, Disaster Winner. Welcome to the Tasty Ear Bits Podcast Mini. Update, update, update. We did it. We really did it. What did we do? Well, we created a fabulous work of art. This work of art is called Witch Witch One. It is a short horror comedy that we recently crowdfunded for. It came out so good, and it's so weird, and it's so scary, and it's so funny, and it's so professional. We even got to premiere it at the best horror convention in the world, Monster Palooza. We wowed everyone with this film, and afterward we had a panel with the DP, Bradford Cooper, one of our executive producers, Andrew Dahlquist, and a couple of the main actors, Amber St. James and Charles Galen. What a great event! Now, we had never done a crowdfunding for so much money before, so it was super ambitious for us. We didn't even know if we could get the big money this way, but we ended up raising over $19,000. And because of that, we got to pay people what they deserve. The actors got paid. The director of photography got paid. The digital FX person got paid. The lighting people got paid. The center got paid. The composer got paid. We even got to pay ourselves a little bit. And we needed that little bit because Ave and I had to put so much time and effort into it that we needed some living expenses. So thank you everybody who contributed, especially our executive producers. That's right, we got some people to put down some bigger bucks for this, and it was really exciting for us. We thought it would be all micro donations, but we got some lumpy sums, and it made us feel like power players. We're big deal creative producers now, and we've got the swagger to prove it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Andrew Dahlquist, who also became our good friend and script supervisor on the film. Sigourney Beaver, yes, that's right, from season four of the Boulet Brothers' Dracula. Paulina Hosser, Rick Bevins and partner Doug Brown, Tony Tilton, and Joseph Raich. You all helped to create fantastic art. Give yourself a pat on the back for doing the exact right thing with those greenbacks. You made so many people so happy. Also, we are still working on some of the perks from the campaign, so thank you for being patient. We will get stuff to you soon. Most people have gotten at least some of their perks so far. What's that? You getting jealous because you didn't contribute and aren't part of all the fun? Well, you should be fucking jealous. But I show you some pity. Here's a remedy. If you'd like to see our film, you still can. Just donate $10 or more over at our Venmo at Trayfid Rose Productions. Spell T-R-E-Y-F-I-D-R-O-S-C Productions. Make sure to say which which one in the notes. We will be looking eventually for a streaming service for our visionary piece of comedy horror, but for now, we're content to have it be exclusive. Mm-mm-mm.
And that was the song Mopey Zoo Lion from Satel. S-A-T-E-L-L-E. You can go find them on the Spotify. You know, it's funny. <laughs> in this mini format, I'm much more willing to spill the beans about what is going on in my life and what I think about stuff. Hope you like it. I kind of enjoy just spewing out whatever is inhabiting my brain bone. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about what I used to do in the past with all this social media stuff. I used to spend ridiculous amounts of hours on silly content for Instagram, TikTok, and my YouTube channel. I don't regret it. But now, that's changing a little bit. Or a lot bit. You may have noticed. There's just not as much stuff from me on these platforms anymore. Well, there's a couple things. One is that I am sick and tired of grasping for follows. I am so tired of being tethered to my device and seeing how many comments and how many views and how many hearts. I'm fully burned out on it. So sorry you don't see as much content from me anymore. I don't know. Maybe you've been wondering what's going on. Well, I decided I just need to rest my psyche. These devices and apps are a life suck. And I don't want my life to suck that way anymore. But the good news is I'm still doing content, but more structured content like Which Which One and other show projects coming up in the future. There's some upcoming news. I'm going to report about my YouTube interview show, My Drag is Valid, pretty soon. That is really exciting. And also, I've got something else in the works that is going to blow those pantyhose off those gorgeous cams of yours. I can't wait to tell you about it. For now, I promise to do more podcasts. I know everyone really loves them, and I'm not doing enough of them. I think the podcast will become my main creative social media thing from now on. So thank you for listening and expect much more from me here. Love you. And now, a short break for an important message. Hi, this is Sparkle Bird the Mushroom Gnome. You are listening to the Tasty Ear Bits Podcast. Help support our endeavor by joining our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash coleslets on fire. One word. I'm Snorkel Bird the Mushroom Gnome. The Mushroom Gnome, the Mushroom Gnome, the Mushroom Gnome, the Mushroom Gnome. Snorkel Bird the Mushroom Gnome, the Mushroom Gnome, the Mushroom Gnome. Not happy with the far right trying to dehumanize trans and queer people? Me neither. What you gonna do about it, huh? Well, one thing you should do right now is visit transformationsproject.org on the interwebs. They have a robust and up-to-date database, which you can easily use to track hateful legislation proposals that impact the health and safety of vulnerable youth and their families. Go there now, and also be sure to donate or to volunteer. Transformationsproject.org So on these minis, I like to give you stuff maybe you haven't heard before. Sort of hmm, out of print, disasterina songs or obscure things. What I've got that I've found is something called It's Not Easy Being Teeth. It alludes to a certain song by a certain frog on a certain Sesame Street TV show back in the day. I made this song for a YouTube show that Sig Neutron put together called Dungeon Queens, where a bunch of us Dragula Queens got together and we put on outfits that were kind of like what characters that we were playing in the Dungeons and Dragons game. Well, my character was a tiefling. Look it up, it's like a red devil with horns and everything. Really sexy outfit, and that's why this song is called... It's not easy being teeth. (music) 
It's not that easy being thief Having to spend each day being the color of hell When I think it could be nicer Being lavender or more of a pastel blue Or something a little less provocative like that Eh? It's not that easy being teeth It seems like you blend in with so many other horrifying things And people tend to whisper Or to insult you behind your back And must trust and fear you Because of some ancient sin But thieves are the color of delicious blood And thieves can see really good in the dim light And thieves can be resistant to fire Or be important like a crime lord Or cast the hellish rebuke When is all there is to be It could make you wonder why But why wonder, why wonder I'm a tiefling of an infernal bloodline It's fearsome And I think it's what I want to be mm. It's what I want to be Wasn't it wonderful? And now here is the theme song to the show Dungeon Queens. You're gonna love it. Dungeon Queens. Dungeon Queens. Bitch, gonna rock it on Twitch, y'all! I'm a half-orc crankster gonna steal behind the scenes, that's right! I'm a kooky red beast, my sword will make you deceased, Dumbo! The dungeon master of disaster, my campaign in the first chapter! Ha ha ha! So you can still find that show on YouTube, I think. It starred Sig Neutron as the Dungeon Master, and also Bitch Puddin was on the air, and Felony Dogier and Zochi Moti. That's all I got for you today, but I do have two interviews lined up. So you're going to have some new tasty ear bits coming toward your way real soon, okay? I promise. If you want to support this podcast, go to patreon.com forward slash cold sluts on fire one word and donate some greenbacks also if you want some fancy ephemera or art or shirts or stuff like that or pins go to cold sluts on fire.com which is my etsy store and thank you thank you thank you patreon supporters for all your help you help me out a lot and am I able to do this because of you I love you so much Joseph Raish Indra Lowenstein Amy Marsh Jeremy McNabb Keith Ferguson Annalyn Bond Rollerblaze Sazi C Silvana Ahmed Tom Ali Eric Peterson John Get Bent 
Renee Redanius, Melissa Sara Nikini Kill, Julia Levine, Mike Twelve, Rhea, Simon Law, Spencer Montoya, Story Nagel, Katrina Miller. You are super wonderful, and because you're so wonderful, you can send me a message through Patreon if you have a question you want me to answer on the podcast. You can do so. Everybody else out there, you can't ask me anything. I'm not going to answer it unless you pay up. So go to the Patreon, pay up, then you can ask me something, then I'll answer your question, okay?